everyone. My name is Gilbert and I am an inspiration coach at Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinic in Hübelingen at the beautiful Lake of Constance. I'm happy you joined me for this yoga class. Uh, we will do some exercises, some postures and some movements, but please always be gentle with your body, listen to your body and don't do anything your body doesn't like to do. So to start this yoga class, you just sit on the ground. It can be cross-legged, it can be also on your heels, but try to be as still as possible, just for some moments, for some breaths. So connect with the movement of your breath in your belly. You can deepen your breath a little bit and try to expand with this inhale in your whole body. Try to be as conscious as possible as you exhale. Feel the weight of your body to the ground, connection to the ground. And just follow this movement, this flow of breath. Stay with this breath and start to remove your shoulders. As you inhale, you bring your shoulders forward and up. And as you exhale, you bring the shoulders far back and down. Roll the shoulders forward and up as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring the shoulders back and down. Inhale, bring them further, further forward and up and exhale even further back and down. Just one more time, roll the shoulders, inhale and exhale. Leave the shoulders back and down, straighten your spine, lift up the back of your head and now let your left ear come towards your left shoulder. Feel the nice stretch in the right side of your neck and bring your right shoulder back and down as far as possible. Wait until the next inhale and bring your head back to the center. And as you exhale, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feel this nice stretch in the left side of your neck and bring your left shoulder back and down. Keep on breathing. Inhalation brings you back to the center. Now place your hands behind you and just push your hands into the ground. Lift probably your hips a little bit and start to move the hips from one side to the other and try to move the shoulders also. Find this freestyle movement, what is necessary now for your shoulders, for your hips. Just enjoy what you do. If there is too much tension, don't force your body. Keep on breathing deeply, profound. And now just come forward. You can stay in the movement by bringing your hands forward and reaching out forward as far as it's possible for you. Keep on moving your spine just feel like a dance in your spine and your hips and even move your shoulders and your neck. Just allow the spine to strengthen and allow this mobilization to do its work. Also here, don't force your body. Don't push, just flow with your breath, deeply breathing. Slowly, slowly, take your time to come back with your hands. Maybe remove a pillow if you sit on a pillow. And then if you came back to the center, find yourself in an all four posture. Have your hands under your shoulders and have your knees under your hips. Your toes feel on the mat. And here you can just start to open your chest when you inhale look forward and as you exhale you just round your spine into a cat pose 
Inhale, feel your back like a horse. And exhale, round your spine in a cat pose. Inhale, open your hips in the backside. And exhale, push the hands into the ground. Now come back to the center. Bring your hands a little bit further forward in front of you and feel a very, very stable grip with your hands. Keep on breathing deeply and feel the movement of your upper body. Come forward with your hips, with your upper body and come back as you exhale. Now use your breath. The inhalation pulls you forward and the exhalation brings you back. Now start slowly and gentle. And if you feel flexible, you can go further and bring the hips down, lift your head. And as you come back with the exhale, you can come all the way back towards your heels. Now lift up with the inhale and come back and down with your exhale. Use the breath. Flow with your breath. If you feel comfortable with this movement, you can become a little bit faster in this movement and keep on breathing, but also breathe a little bit faster to warm up the body, the joints and the muscles. Feel the heat, feel the energy flowing through your body. We call this prana, pure life energy. Next time you come back with your exhale, you stay back with your hips towards your heels, straighten your feet, and come all the way back towards your heels. Let your head drop down. Let the shoulders drop down just for a moment. Breathe deeply here towards your thighs and feel the touch of your belly to your thighs. This gives you, gives you a nice massage for, for your intestines, for the lower parts of your belly. Listen to your breath and enjoy every second, every breath. And one last breath here. Your inhalation brings you up. Now you can tuck under your toes and come back into a downward facing dog. If this is too much for you, you can leave your knees on the ground and keep on moving your spine in a cat pose and cow pose like we did before. But if you're in downward facing dog, you can just move your legs a little bit, straighten and bend one leg after the other and bring your heels down to the ground. Try to mobilize your joints in the legs but always be careful to straighten your arms, push your hands into the ground and bring your tailbone as high as possible. Your lower back wants to be as long as possible. Now breathe deeply in this posture. And come into the center just for one last breath. And downward facing dog. And as you exhale, come down with your knees to the ground. To go further for the next posture, you can bring your right foot forward. Help yourself with your right hand in your right knee. And bring your right foot forward. You can place the tips of your hands on your mat. And if it's too uncomfortable for your left knee, you can use your yoga mat. Just bring it inside 
and place your knee on this double mat. So you have a nice comfortable feeling in your knee. Now let your hip drop down and as you drop down your hip, you open your chest, look forward, maybe even you look a little bit up and give this some time. Feel the dropping of your hip with your exhale. Feel the openness of your chest as you inhale. You can place your left hand on the ground. Spread your fingers to have this stable hand on the ground. And as you inhale, you bring your right arm forward and up. And as you exhale, you bring the arm back and down. Just follow your breath. Inhale, bring the arm forward and up. And exhale, bring the arm back and down. You can look and follow your hand with your eyes. It's not necessary if you feel uncomfortable in your neck. Just give it another round. Inhale, come up and exhale, come back and down. Place your right hand on the ground and bring your right knee back to the left knee. Relax the mat if you had it double and stay here for some breaths and move your spine a little bit in all directions. Whenever you feel ready, you can bring your right foot forward and place your right foot on the mat and under your knee. You can place the tips of your fingers on the ground and let your hip drop down. Keep on breathing and with every exhale, let your hip drop down. With every inhale, lift your chest up. And on this side, you can bring your right hand on the mat. Maybe support your left knee with this double mat. And as you inhale, bring your left arm forward and up and back and down as you exhale. Bring your arm forward and up as you inhale and back and down as you exhale. Maybe follow your hand with your eyes but also here, just do it if your neck feels comfortable. And one last round with your breath. Then place your left hand on the ground. Relax the mat and bring your left foot forward to the right foot. Bend your knees a little bit. Bring your hands on your hips. Lift your head, lift your chest and come up to a standing posture. Here you can place your hands on your buttocks, on the lower back, and as you squeeze your belly in, you can push your hips a little bit forward. Feel how this feels for you. If you wanna go further, you can bring the elbows together behind your neck as close as possible. Bring the shoulders down and if your neck feels comfortable, open your throat and lay back your head a little bit. Keep on breathing deeply here. Come back to the center, bring the arms to the side and open the arms far way up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring the arms down on your side and bend forward with the upper body. Place the tips of your fingers on the ground. As you inhale, bring your right foot back, back as far as possible. Place your knee on the ground. Bring your hands to the ground. And then as you exhale, bring your left foot back 
and come into this plank pose. Here you can drop your knees, drop your chest and come down on the ground. As you inhale, lift your head, bring your elbows a little bit forward and feel the elbows under your shoulders. If you want to go further into this Sphinx pose, you can go from the Sphinx, Sphinx pose into a plank pose by lifting up your hip. Just stay here for some breaths. And as the exhale comes, you can bring your hips down on your mat. Bring the hands back for a cobra pose. Bring the hands under your shoulders. Bring your toes on the mat and push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Stay here for three breaths. You can straight away bring your right foot forward between your hands or you can first bring your knees on the ground. Help yourself again with your right hand to bring this right foot forward. Inhale, open your chest and exhale, bring your left foot forward also. As you inhale, spread your arms, lift your upper body and open up wide. And as you exhale, bring your hands palms on each other in front of your chest. As you inhale, bring the arms again to the sides, reach up, spread your arms. And as you exhale, fold yourself down with your lower back very straight. Bring the tips of your fingers on the ground, bend your knees if necessary. As you inhale, bring your left foot far back and bring your knee onto the ground. Inhale, and open your chest and bring your palms on the ground. As you inhale, bring the right foot back. And as you exhale, let your knees drop down. Let your upper body drop down as well. Inhale, lift your head, lift your shoulders and bring your forearms a little bit further so you have your elbows under your shoulders. If you want to go further again, you place your toes onto the mat and lift your hip. Just stay here for three breaths. Feel the strength in the middle part of your body and your core. And as you exhale, bring your hip down. Inhale, pull your hands back under your shoulders. And exhale, push yourself up into a downward facing dog. Your tailbone wants to be as high as possible. The arms straight and push your hands into the mat. Just for last, last deep breath. And again, you can bring your left foot forward if you like. Or before you do that, you can bring the knees down. Help yourself with your left hand. Bring the foot forward and as you exhale, bring your right foot forward. Inhale, spread your arms, lift up, open up, stand up. And as you exhale, bring your hands in front of your chest. Very nice. So now you can just sit down and be comfortable. We will just go into a short meditation. So find a sitting posture where you can feel as comfortable as possible. You can, of course, also lay down to relax on your back. Find a posture where you can close your eyes and can relax and concentrate again on your breath as you did in the beginning. Feel your body and feel whatever you can notice. Notice all the sensations in your body, all the fluctuations in your mind. Just allow everything to happen.
without judging, without thinking deep. Just allow yourself to be in this very moment. Now start to deepen your breath. If you're laying on the back, take your time to come up to a sitting posture where you can feel your spine erect and you can place your hands on each other in front of your heart. Let your head just drop down a little bit and go inside, maybe with a wish for your life or for your day. And maybe also send some good thoughts to someone who needs your help or your thoughts, your good thoughts. Now gently open your eyes. So thank you very much for joining me for this yoga class. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you want to have more info. You find a lot of information and videos on our channel and on our side. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.